Here's the Google Pixel 8a. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. First thing is turn it on. Just press and hold that power button and keep holding it until it turns on. Once it turns on, you should be booted up to the screen here where you choose your language first. Go ahead and choose your language. I'm good with English in the United States. I'll tap on Get Started down here. Set up using another device. To copy settings, accounts, and more from another phone or tablet, keep it nearby and unlocked, okay? So if you have another phone that you want to transfer the settings and accounts and whatnot from, you're going to go down here and pick on if you have a, another Pixel phone or Android phone or an iPhone or an iPad, okay? But for myself, I want a clean, fresh install, so I'm going to go ahead and skip this part here. Now it's asking to connect to my home Wi-Fi network, which I'm going to do right now. So let me connect to my Wi-Fi here. Let me input my Wi-Fi password. And then once I put in the password, I'm going to tap on connect. It says connecting, obtaining IP address. Okay, looks like we're good. Getting your phone ready. Who are you setting this, up, this phone up for? For yourself or for your child? Okay, for me, I'm going to do for myself. I'll tap on next. This is for your Google account, basically your Gmail email address. You can go and set this up now, or if you don't have an account, you can create one, or you can skip it and just do it later. For myself, I'm just going to skip it and do it later. I will skip. Connect to a mobile network. Set up an eSIM or insert a physical SIM card now. You can do this now, or you can do it at when you're done with the setup, all right? So for myself, I'm just going to keep proceeding, and then once I'm done the setup, I'll make the next video on how to insert a physical SIM card, okay? So for myself, for this part here, I'm just going to go ahead and skip. I just want to skip right there. I just want to get this phone set up first. Set a PIN or password. You can skip this now, and you can do it later. I would recommend just go ahead and do it now, okay? We can do a four-digit or a six-digit PIN. So let me go ahead and choose one really fast. And I did six numbers here. I'm going to tap on next. It's going to ask me to reconfirm one more time. Okay, and then I'm going to confirm again. All right. Set up fingerprint unlock, basically a fingerprint password. You can do this now. You can skip it and never do it, or you can skip it and do it later. For me, I'm going to go ahead and do this now. So let me go ahead and slide all the way down here. And then I'm going to tap on I agree right there and then from here I'm going to tap on start now I'm going to go ahead and use the finger that I want to use I'm going to go ahead and use my thumb here lift touch lift so basically you want this blue to go all the way around all right so we're just going to keep on going change the positions of my thumb here it's going to keep on going asking for the edge of my fingers now Oh, I messed it up. I gotta do this again. All right, let me do it over again. All right, we're almost done. All right, there we go. Now my thumb fingerprint has been added. Now you can add another finger from another hand or whatnot if you want, or you can just click on next and leave it like that. You can always add another fingerprint later on if you wish as well. Set up face unlock. So now here is basically the face ID password, okay? We're going to scroll down. You can skip that no thanks and then you can do it later or you can no thanks and never do it. For me, I'm going to agree to this and just do it now. So let's go ahead and tap on that. And now when I click on start, I have to hold the screen up to my eye level here. Let me see if I can do it with this camera here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave my eye level there. I'm going to kind of, kind of tilt my head. Kind of go like in a little circle right there. There we go. Looks good. I'm going to tap on done now. Google services, use location, allow scanning. These are all optional, okay? So you can turn it on or off, it's up to you. For me, I'm fine with leaving all of these on and I would just tap on accept down here. Limited warning, warranty information, I'll tap on next right there. Additional legal terms, go ahead and read through that and I'm gonna tap on accept right there. Getting your phone ready. Swipe to navigate. Learn gestures to go home, go back, switch apps. It's a little tutorial how to use the phone. Okay, so you can skip it or you can try. You should just go ahead and try it if you never use the Google Pixel phone. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen to go to the home. You just want to like swipe up like that. 
you want to go back to the previous screen, you can swipe to the left here or to the right, it doesn't matter. If you want to switch between apps, you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen and then hold and then release. So go down here, swipe up a little bit like that, and then let go. We're done. Tap on done. We're ready to rock and roll. And there we go. We are in business. Pretty simple. If you want to know how to insert the physical SIM card, look in the description for the next video.